Hello, hello everyone. It's Heather Donnelly here and I am going to show you a few things today that I think will be really helpful. Um, we're going to be covering some stuff in Canva, some stuff in KV Core, how to build a landing page, and how to drive all that traffic over to that landing page. Um, so real quick, um, I want to thank the girls with grit and Christina Swires, who is in our family tree here that allows us to have some of this free content done for you. You just plug and play your information. Um, if you need the link for this, it is inside our hashtag team evolve group and you would just copy it over to Canva. I will preface, I do pay for Canva because I like a lot of the, um, extra tools that the extra graphics and things like that, that we can use inside of there. I think I pay like a hundred dollars a year for this. So it's really not that expensive for as much as I use it. Um, if I showed you my design space, there are thousands of things that I've created in here, including, uh, little Christmas pop by cards, uh, from last year that I dropped by with wine and an ornament. I create my business cards in here, my, all of my seller guides, my moving list, my checklists for the team, everything is done inside Canva for me. Um, it's on a mobile platform as well. So I can do it on my phone and on my iPad, as well as sit here at the desk top and do it. Um, and it, it syncs everywhere. So if I'm doing something inside the computer, then if I decide I've got to go, I'm on the go, I can open it up on my phone or my lap or my iPad and finish it. So the first thing I want to take a look at here is just the how to prep your home for sale guide. You're going to want to make the changes that you want to make. So either put your picture here or put your logo here. This was designed for us to be able to take them, take out the items that don't pertain to our business. Um, if for the guys in the group, you don't like the frilly cursive writing or font, you can change that as well. There's plenty to choose from. Um, all the ones here with the crowns next to them mean that that's the pro user uh, platform, but everything without is free. So tons of free fonts as well if you want to change anything. Um, you can upload your own stuff, like your own photo, things like that here. Um, if you want to change anything like the background, you can go to the elements and you can search for house or and you can change it to photo so that it's you know, pretty. So like if I wanted this one, this one's free. Um, anytime you hover over it, it'll show you if it's professional grade or not, not professional grade, I guess it, if it's included in the free platform, or if you need to upgrade to use it, if you put this over it and you don't have the pro, it will put the little watermark for Canva all over it. And there's no way to get rid of that. Again, I think the platform's like a hundred dollars a year. So it's really not that expensive if you're going to use it. But for example, if I wanted a more masculine feel to this, I might put this one on here because it's a dark, oops, a dark kitchen, um, but still modern and pretty. Oh, come on. There. Uh, get rid of this little logo. I would change this information to my name. Whoops, not my maiden name. <laughs> it's been a while. Too long to be making that mistake. Um, so, and then of course your phone number, your email address, and then I brand everything. So everything says EXP Realty or my house is by Heather logo with the EXP Realty, just to show the massive network that we're a part of. Cause oftentimes when you're going up against a larger company like the red one, um, the fact that we are a large and global company helps as far as your reach and who you're going to be putting their home in front of. So you can kind of scroll down through and do that on any, any portion of this document. If you don't like these photos, you can say, okay, I want curb appeal here and search until you find something that you like and put it there. If you don't like, you know, the way it's, you can edit the image, you can put it in black and white put some other filter on it, whatever tickles your fancy. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do before you get into the rest of this. Um, once you do this, you're going to download this document and put it into a Google Drive or a Dropbox or something that you can create a link to the document on whatever platform you're using. I personally use Google Drive. I use Google for everything. 
Um, it's just, for me, the most user-friendly. So if you ask me about Dropbox, I could probably figure it out and tinker with it, but I'm gonna suggest that you use Google Drive just because I'm more well-versed with that. So once you have dropped this into Google Drive and you have the link, then you're going to go over to KV Core. KV Core has all these links over here, or these icons over here. If you hover over, it will show you what's inside of them. If you need to see the full wording, you can do that. Um, I just have mine shrunk so I can see what else is going on on my screen. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the lead engine tools and you're going to build a landing page. You will only have most likely one domain here and you're going to click start building. This can be changed to anything you want. You can double click on it, double click on it and change it. So for this purpose, we're going to say uh, prep your home for sell free guide. Um, you can put a little hot topic word here. You can add, you know, checklists, what's like, what's included in this. You can change the background to whatever. They have a few options here, exterior, kitchen, um, living room. Maybe this is best for prepping for this landing page. Lead type would be seller because that's what we're trying to target. Um, you can require a phone number or not. Uh, the purpose of the landing page is lead generation or address capture might be better so that they put in that information first. Um, I usually do just lead generation. And the submit button text, this is this button here, get my free guide now. That way, whenever they put their email, their phone number, they hit get my free guide, it's going to send them to where you're going to tell them to do it. So um, if you want to change anything else, you just double click on it and start typing. Um, sorry, these, if you double click, they will delete and go away. So if you just, you don't want to fill all that out, you just double click, get rid of all of it if you'd like. It's up to you. So just put something Make sure you emphasize free everywhere you can just so that they know that they don't have to buy anything or whatever. And I like to leave this little note. If you enter your cell phone number, we promise only to send you interesting, relevant real estate information. You can reply stop at any time if you don't like what we're sending. Um, you might add here that you promise not to share any of their information, blah, 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 blah. Whatever disclaimer you would like to put there. And then you're going to save it. Once you save it, it's going to generate a... Um, link for you to copy and you're going to need that link for what we're going to do next so um this is just a landing page so once this is saved you can't make any last i checked you cannot make any changes to this so make sure that you get it right if you don't or you don't like the way it looks once it generates this page then you will make a new one save it copy the link, and then you're gonna go back into Canva. When you go into Canva this time, I want you to go and look for link website, search in the box, and then you'll see all of these pop up. We're gonna create this web page so that you're not using things like Linktree because Linktree in the last couple of years has um, started making people verify that when they're leaving the Instagram or Facebook platform, that they want to leave. And if they have to do that extra click, sometimes they won't go. So what I've done is I've created a link tree, basically inside Canva as a website. And whenever I put that on my social medias, it does not ask them if they want to leave the platform. It just opens it inside the platform. So they're not technically leaving. So you would pick one of these, whichever one tickles your fancy. Um, if it's too feminine for your liking you can always change that inside of canva um i believe mine isn't up and down it's left and right landscape um similar to this one maybe but there's a ton to choose from like even if you like the little post-it note style whatever so i'm actually going to show you what mine looks like here so let me make that big again can i do that yes meh Kind of big, I guess. There we go. Okay, so I have home search, free seller guide, my reviews, my coffee over cardio code. 
Um, and then um, I'm a realtor and I want to learn from you. So this is for my recruiting side of things. So anytime I need, you know, somebody to go look at my page, the link is here. So you would develop the page. You can change all the elements just the same. Put your picture on here. Put I put my Instagram handle on here so they know where to go. And then I have a Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook where they can click on it inside of whatever internet window they're in and it will take them there. So how you do that is, for example, here where I've added this text, I would select it and then hit the link button and I would paste my link here. So this is my, nope, that's the home search. Let me show you my seller guide link. I'm gonna copy this and show it to you real quick because it's the exact one we saw over there. I deleted everything, free prep to sell guide. Email, phone number, get my guide now. This should say get my free guide now because it says it here, but it would be nice to have it here too. So if they put their information in here, get my guide, it's going to take them to the link to get the guide out of the Google Drive, um, which can be done on the KV Core page where we were creating that right here. Um, get my free guide now. This brings them back to the guide when they hit get my free guide now, but all the information they put here goes into my KV core as a lead from my dashboard. So it's capturing that information without them just going directly to, they have to come to that page first to get the guide out of the Google Drive. It wouldn't just take them straight to the Google Drive. So to reiterate, this page, when they click on free seller guide, takes me to this page. They put in their information, they hit free guide now, it takes their information, puts it inside my KV core, and this link takes them to my free seller's guide. 